All right, this is my first ever Kona task completed and exactly as planned to be done on the 1700 task, giving me 450 points, totaling up to almost 4,000 points. So this is perfect. This is lots of points for skipping for this Hydra task. So chances are we're getting it today for sure. Invalid location. Isn't this the new spot? Yes, yeah, the new fear ring spot. It works. Toros, like, ah, man, they, I'm only doing extremely fast tasks. Toros is slow as hell. 164 drakes. Hmm. Really tempting to do those. You know, those are new too. But the Hydra awaits. 10 skeletal wyverns. Alright, task done. 18 points. Oh, let me get that Snapdragon though. Oh, there it is. Yes. Only took me, I don't know, 500 Slayer points. Oh, God. One of my boys, he used 3,000. He didn't get a single task. Rest in peace to that guy. But I got 170. A little bit more than the average, I think. So this is going to be my setup to start off. A melee switch with a range switch. While I was uh, working on some of the easier corner tasks, some people already killed Hydra. And uh, it's been reported that it's super weak to the Twisted Bow. So I decided to switch into that instead. But uh, yeah, this is what I got for now. And also the black boots that you're seeing me wear, that's the new boots that came out. You can buy from any Slayer Master. Unless you've already done the Zaya Lee Diary, you have to wear this boot or something equivalent like Granite Boots. Because in this area, you constantly take flame damage. It's like 5 damage every second or something like that. And uh, especially if you die at Hydra, you need to make sure you go back to loot your stuff with another boot on. Because if you double death, your original death pile will disappear completely and you can't ever get it back. Oh yeah, this has got to be the the spot. Oh, is it an instance? Ho ho ho! Here it is. Alchemical Hydra. Let's go, man. So I didn't do too much talking during the first ever fight because I was just trying to figure out what was going on in the fight, understand the mechanics and like, you know, how to deal with the different phases and stuff. But let me tell you, I thought this boss was going to be like a hybrid tribrid boss fight, but it turned out it's just a range only fight. What I mean by that is range just absolutely dominates this boss compared to like melee or something. So if you have a twisted bow, you basically have the best setup for this boss. Uh, followed by Blowpipe and then Dragon Hunter Crossbow. So I was a little bit disappointed. It wasn't like a hybrid tribrid fight, but it was fine because it was still fun. It has so many mechanics that every second of the two to three minute fight, I was basically kept very busy. So yeah, I was okay with that. And it's also a Slayer boss. So I guess it wasn't meant to be super hard anyways. Woo, what the hell, man? Ah, crap. Okay, that's... I see, so... I need stamina pot for this. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't know about that flame attack, dude. Alright, whatever. That's okay. There we go. Just got the first kill ever. Used a shit ton of food, so that means uh, either there's a lot of mechanics that I'm completely not noticing, which I'm sure I'm not. Whoa, what the hell is this? Hydro bones, boys. Three drops. Wow, that's insane. I mean, second kill. What am I saying? Ooh, boys, I got some really good food. All right. Yeah, Tebow's broken here. Holy shit, dude. All right, third kill. We got uh, more potions. Which is okay, because I'm using a lot of supplies just to get, like, two kills, so I need more supplies. I learned from the boys that, uh... For auto attacks, it's pretty bo oh, oh, what the fuck? Hydra, Hydra's eye! Oh my god, I got something! What is that again? Is that to make the, uh... The ring? Wait, it looks like it can, can be... Combined with a heart and a fang. Yo, what? which one is this? I need to look at the, uh... The ring! Oh my god, yo! I just got a drop! 4KC, oh, I can't even price check it, dude. Holy shit! Oh my god, guys. Very nice. I can't wait to try this out. Um, But it's only a piece, though. I need a heart and a fang. That's one out of three. Yeah, dude. Very nice. Fourth kill. Oh, what the... F no, that auto attack is so strong. God damn. 
So the first few hours of Hydra for me was definitely not the easiest because I just did not know the mechanics well enough. And yeah, because of that, you just get a beating. And once you do know the mechanics and you start getting comfortable with it though, it's not that hard, I would say. So as long as you pay attention to the fight the whole way through. So if you don't pay attention, this boss is quite challenging because it does hit really hard when you do not switch prayers correctly since it will alternate its attacks every three attacks and during the jab phase which is the final phase if you mess up a prayer flick it will hit you for like a 50 up to like a 52 so yes paying attention is absolutely critical but uh, with that in mind if you pay attention it's not too hard i would say it's probably like vorkat difficulty if not maybe a little easier if you pay attention oh what the hell that hit you Yikes. Starting to get the hang of Hydra a bit after uh, 20 plus kills. So comfortably, you know, starting to do multiple kill trips. And I'm definitely going to start bringing some Alk runes in my rune pouch or something. Just to save some space. Because this guy drops ridiculous amounts of alkyls as you can see. And yeah, just reconfigure my inventory accordingly. Oh, new personal best. There we go. So one thing I noticed quickly is the Hydra drops a lot of Astro runes and to be honest, I don't think there's really any boss that drops Astro runes. I've already gone over 1000 of Astro runes in like 50 kills. I typically buy Astro runes for Vengeance, but yeah, I'm going to get a lot from Hydra, so that's nice. This is going to be the 100th kill of Hydra all done in one day of release. Um, I am kind of tired. This boss is really click intensive. I'm not gonna lie. Just all this lowering and then all this prayer switching. Oh yeah, it, it gets you, but still pretty fun boss. So we got a lot more to do, uh, thanks to the slaughter bracelet. You know, that 30% increase from that 170 is just nice. Oh, that's the, uh, Dragon Hunter Lance right there. Let me, let me get a little closer look, you know? So it looks like they changed the lance a lot, like so many different versions, because the last I remember it was like red, black, but I guess they changed it to match the dungeon color a bit more. I, I like this look a bit more. What the frick kind of drop is that? Mystic top and bottom light. So I realized I make like 400k plus a trip now of Hydra, which is crazy. I'm talking just physical GP, not the other, you know, resource stuff. Actually insane. The, what the freaking hell? Double Dragon Methelm. Nah, I'm not, I'm not being pulled a sire. This isn't a sire. What? Yo, did I just get three magic seeds? Damn, that's crazy. Three magic seeds. Wow, that's that's actually some next level resource drops right there. Man, what am I seeing, guys? It, it must be really rare, because this is my only drop of that so far. Damn, that must have been... Oh my god, that could have killed me there. Yikes. Too excited for a fast kill there. Oh, I was so close. Wow, oh my god, another 500k drop. This time, like, for real. This is literally a 500k drop. Cause it's all outs, Jesus. And I get I get caught by its pace instead of my own pace. Yikes! I'm not sure if you can take eat it, but oh my god, I got it! Wait, Hydra's fang? The fang of a Hydra looks like combined with the heart and eye. Oh, I thought that was the Dragon Hunter Lance component. Oh, two out of three ring pieces though. I I I take that man. Let's go. Sounds good. I honestly thought that was a, the Hydra Lance though, man, but hey, this this is good too. I'm sure you can't get the same items that you already got for the ring piece, just like the bludgeon, so... Freaking Getsuka, dude, has a new pet. Oh, that looks so nice, dude. Yo, can you change the colors? Oh, does it not have forms? Oh, shit, it's got different forms, dude. Show all the different forms, if you have. Oh, that's nice. You, so that means it has four forms. Damn, that's sick, dude. Oh, man, this is a keeper, bro. Yeah, I definitely want to get this pet. Uh-huh, even if I get all the, like, dragon hunter stuff, you know. Can't believe this is still day one. I'm already at 200kc, dude. Good stuff, good stuff. 
Okay, honestly it took me so long to complete this Hydra task. Because I ended up killing like 200, 212, yeah, with the slot bracelet. Oh, Jesus Christ, that took like 10 hours, honestly. The first bit of hours was me just kind of struggling, trotting around, trying to learn how to kill the boss, but yeah. Unfortunately, my rune light didn't keep track of all 200 plus kills because I turned off my PC halfway to take a long nap, so only recorded the last 79 kills. But it's still a pretty decent sample size. As you can see, I made over 9 million total value in 79 kills, which is over 100k value a kill. So that's really good considering there's no big unique items that is uh, influencing the price. So this is just regular drops. And I can almost bet that half of the value comes from straight alkyballs because every kill I was just getting alkyballs left and right. So it was insane. But overall, this boss is really, really good money right now. One of the best money makers at the moment. All right, boys. Moment of truth. I'm gonna go try to get the back-to-back -back task, please. All right, 10%. Please show me the money. You are the most impressive at bringing the balance. I can reward that. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yes, Slayer Cape. Let's go. 10% chance, and I got it to work. Thank you. I'll be taking that. Cha-ching. All right. So I'm going to be using Slayer Bracelet again. So that's like another uh, 30%. So that's like a 200 plus task again. A little bit more. So very nice. Honestly. You and Rocket, you know, doing some... Oh, I got a Hydra Tail. Wait. Hydra Tail? Oh, attach the Bone Crusher. Yeah, I always forget. That's my third unique. Although, I don't know where I would use it, but... <laughs> okay, that's three uniques so far in uh, 239 kills. Still missing the super lucrative Hydra Heart and the Claw and the Scale, I think. Yeah. But okay, I'll take it. Eventually, I guess I would have ended up you wanted to get this anyways, just for the completionist's sake. Might as well, just to have this. Successfully combine the Hydra Tail, Dragon Bone Necklace, and Dragon Bone Crusher into the Bone Crusher Necklace. So the Bone Crusher Necklace is pretty cool because when you're wearing it, anytime a monster drops a bone, it will bury it for you and you will get prayer points back for that. You have to wear it though in order for the prayer uh, point effect. Otherwise, if you just keep it in your inventory, it'll just crush your bones like a normal Bone Crusher. So a useful application could be when you are bursting, barraging, or chaining like Monaco monkeys in the MM2 tunnels because you can get a lot of prayer back. So it makes it super AFK. But as for me, I'm just going to have it in my inventory just like a regular Bone Crusher because yeah, I don't really have any other use for it wearing it. But another nice collector's item though. 